over the stages of Hashimoto. So like I spoke about my recent patient, so she was really in stage two. So there's stage one of Hashimoto's is when the antibodies are relatively low. Someone is just in that genetic predisposition phase. So we see very low antibodies. Um, sometimes, and I will mention this as well, when I'm working with patients, if someone comes in, if you look at the thyroid antibody standard lab value range, we love the standard lab value ranges, mm -hmm. don't we? Anyways, um, so optimal, like I say in my guide, is below, it, it's zero. I don't want to see a patient coming in with a 15 where the standard lab value range is less than 20 or less than 35. If you're coming in with 15 antibodies, that means you're coming in with 15 soldiers that are going out and attacking your thyroid. That's still not a good setup. It's not a good deal for anybody. So we really want those antibodies to be at zero. So that really is stage one when we have those patients coming in with, let's say 15, 20 antibodies, they're told they're normal, go ahead, go out the door, um, send you on your merry way. But in reality, their body is in that stage where it's starting to attack the thyroid. Stage two is where my patient was at, or is at currently, where her thyroid numbers look good, but the antibodies are high. Then we go on in, in progressive stages. Three and four kind of cross over. It's where we start to see a lot of thyroid symptoms. All those thyroid symptoms can start to happen in stage two. You can start to gain weight. You can start to be extremely fatigued, unable to get out of bed. You're having the hair loss, the thinning. Sometimes your hair gets very, very coarse. Anxiety and depression. Many patients have been misdiagnosed, even bipolar. They were told that they were bipolar when really they were in those stages of Hashimoto's where they were swinging a little bit from hyper to hypo. And that's very, very common. And I know a lot of people in our group, in our thyroid support group, um, tend to worry about that and panic about that. And it's something to be aware of, um, but it's also something to be aware of in that you are in that Hashimoto's stage, probably stage one or two, where your antibodies keep swinging. Now they can, or your, you keep swinging from, your TSH keeps swinging, you keep swinging from hyper to hypo. And we could go on and on down a rabbit hole there, but we won't right now. We'll stick with the stages. Okay, so bear with me. We're in stage three and four. That's where we start to see the symptoms really amp up. And that's where we will begin to see the changes in the thyroid lab value. So TSH, free T4, free T3, those all start to shift to where definitely in functional medicine, someone will not be optimal. In conventional medicine, they may start to pay attention to you. And then in stage five, we see the destruction of the thyroid. So if someone is left untreated and ignored, as many patients are, you could easily get to stage five and have that complete destruction of your thyroid and not even be paid attention to in stages one through four. Okay. Oh, just a quick note as we are talking about the stages, the studies have actually found that the thyroid antibodies can be present for as long as a decade before Hashimoto's, before the person actually develops the impaired thyroid function and the symptoms to go along with it. That is a, uh, Jody, that was you. That's not good. Okay, so how long, um, Jody, how long did it take you to actually get diagnosed then? So post that in the comments for me. We'll come back to you. So unfortunately,